Okay, and here's my filter that I actually never have to change. And the reason being that I don't have to change it is if you can see right there, it's a KNN washable filter. And uh, well, Mercedes did a nice prank on us. This uh, screw right there is not easy to remove because you have to remove this, this, and this one there. And you'll see here in a second what I have to do to actually remove it. Now the shadows and shades of the sun is what it is, so just bear with me. This one, and uh, I have to use one of these. As you see, it's one of these kind of angles, and just use the T here, and uh, hope that it comes off. <laughs> and it's not the easiest thing to fit there at all, by any means. And I even have to put in an extension arm here. And see if I can take it out because it's not easy at all. Let me see what we're even dealing with. Okay, now the screw's off finally. Okay. And then the rest are just Take this part right here, it just comes off quite easy actually. If you don't want to take it out, you can leave it there and pull this part out, but I found that taking this one out was actually much easier. As you see, it comes off just as you see right there. And at this point, you just pull out the entire thing comes off like that and here's the filter and it actually looks pretty clean surprisingly I try not to make it too hard on this filter anyway but and this is the filter inside and all you do with it you just take it out of the cradle here and you wash it that is seriously all you do with it as you see there is some dirt and all that stuff there you wash it you wash it or shake it or whatever you want to do and put it back in the car and as you see this is clean enough to me yeah it looks like there's some small stuff but i don't really worry about that and yes that's the knn made in USA for this car part number is 33-2985 in case you have a GLK 350 I'll leave a link below to this filter it has been a real breeze not having to change filters and oh by the way it's made of some heavy rubber that really sits in place as you see it's not easy to remove it blocks the air really good and it's some really heavy duty rubber. It has like a metal mesh before the filters that are inside. And it fits just like a glove in this compartment. You put it back in your car and yes, my cabin filters, there's two, are K&N washable as well. I'm not gonna dismantle the whole thing here on the camera to take more of your time, more than I've done already. But yeah, this is what I actually use on my vehicles. And I've used them before, I use them now, and I don't care how many vehicles I might change. I will just go with K&N washable filters because they work and they're the best investment you can actually make for your vehicle. And uh, now it's time to put it back in. That's how easy it was. Just take it out, wash it, put it back in, and you're ready to go. No need to go to the store to buy a new filter. Let me try if I can slide it back in place and just let me show you here how clean it is actually inside as you see this filter does a good good job okay let's see if we can uh, place it back in that's a good part of this job okay there's two small kind of pins on the bottom that you have to make sure 
they go in, they usually rest in that place. So it's not easy to miss. It's not hard to put them in. It's really nice and tight. And we just have to put these screws back in where they were and you're pretty much done with it. Okay, and it is all done. And just to reassure that you did a good job, put your hand under and make sure the there is no gap, just in case, because sometimes we might forget things. And as you see, it is good. I just wish it was like my old Mercedes that was with latches instead of uh, screws. That one was a breeze to work with. And yes, I'll leave a link down in the description for this uh, Ryobi Impact. Really nice. Look how low the profile is actually of this one. It's probably one of the best uh, drills that I keep in my car. Anyway, that's uh, it for this video. I'll try to leave an angle uh, adapter down in the description. So in case you need one, now you know that they exist. And how they work is very easy. Whenever it spins here, it's one-to-one -one ratio. So one spin on this direction. There's one spin on here in this direction. So it is a really nice tool to have. You don't realize how much you need it until you get it. Link will be in the description for all the tools used on this video as always. Thank you for watching. Hope you can like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.